Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. Chris Rock is performing a stand-up gig tonight in Boston, his first appearance since the Oscars. If you were Chris, what would be the first joke you'd tell, assuming you'd want to acknowledge Will Smith's slap? Now before we start, does anyone here have a wife with a medical condition that I need to be aware of? Lol watch this be Chris Rock who made this post and you just made him a couple more million indirectly. Alternatively, what if he came up with a lot of this on his own already and now has to go back to the drawing board to avoid getting called out on joke stealing from Reddit? So how many of you got your tickets in the last three days? Scalpers working overtime. So, one of the problems with doi stand up is you sometimes have to deal with hecklers. Let me tell you about the second worst heckler I ever got. So. I guess you've all heard that G.I. Jane 2 probably isn't happening. This is my favorite. And he says it in a super bummed out tone like that's his only real concern. And calls her Mrs. Will Smith to respect the wish not to use her name. Well after my busy schedule of producing Will's biggest hit in years, I was able to make it here tonight. Now we know why he didn't win for Oli. Entering the stage wearing a neck support. Getting wheeled on stage in a wheelchair would be hilarious. With a braced and elevated leg. I'd be like y'all are never gonna guess what happened to me the other day. Keep dancing around it. I had a hell of a week, let me tell you. I had to pick up my tux from the dry cleaners for the Oscars. Tell some cliche story about dry cleaners messing something up. After that, I arrived at the show and had what some might call an altercation. Everyone knows that I don't like arbitrary food or beverage, and those sobs put that in there. I knew that this was going to be a bad night. Tell a few more harmless anecdotes leading up to the slap then skip right over it and thank the audience. Bill Burr did something similar on his Monday morning podcast. Talked about how one of the most iconic and memorable events in pop culture history happened at the Oscars. Something he never thought in a million years he would see. A drummer turned director won the Oscar for Best Documentary Feature, and he went on and on about how Questlove did such a great job on his doc and deserved to win the Oscar. Then at the very end he was like also, I'd pay a million dollars to see Chris Rock's next show, laughed his ass off, and moved on to the next topic. Publicly thank Will Smith for all the extra ticket sales. This. Almost like the humor isn't in a joke at their expense but in acknowledging how crazy it's been and then I'd like to personally thank Will and she will shall not be named for the boost in popularity. I ain't been this popular since. Well damn, ever. Looks like everybody loves Chris now. She whose name is out of my fucky mouth. Someone said he should get a helmet and a neck support. I think this would have been the first part of the joke and then he should have said, I brought this because my next joke is about Shaquille O'Neal's wife. Edit, wow this blew up. Thank you so much for the awards. I love this idea but if he didn't mention it at all. Imagine him just wearing a helmet and neck guard the entire night and never acknowledging the slap. Ha 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 ha. I love that. Very much not Chris Rock's style of humor, but very funny. Or wear shin guards and say my next joke is about Kevin Hart's wife. You think you're tired of Kevin Hart's short jokes then some glorious bastard like you comes along lol that was good. Come out wearing a helmet and with two bodyguards by his side. Yep, just walk on stage with a full face crash helmet on, tinted visor down. Get to middle of stage, stop, flip the visor up and look around at the audience as if trying to pick someone out. Maybe using those little theater binoculars. Those binoculars would sell it for me. Gotta make extra sure. To get started are there any insecure couples in the front row? Okay I'ma need y'all to move to the back. You know how you can tell that slap wasn't staged. Will didn't make the studio give Jade a roll. This is one I hadn't heard before. Nice. I'm gonna open with some alopecia jokes. And then two huge bodyguards walk out and stand on either side of him. Bodyguards come out to here come the men in black. You'll know what I heard about Jada Pickett Smith. Long pause, as he looks nervously around the room. Not a damn thing. There are ones that are funnier than this, but this one has the best ratio of funny to well-crafted taste. I feel like a joke about Will Smith would just be cheating at this point, but I guess that's never bothered him before. Will would literally fly out to Boston just to slap his ass for that one Romeo. 
Watch him be in attendance for Chris' performance today lol. If I knew Will was gonna get so mad about my making fun of his wife, I would have asked one of her boyfriends for permission first. Stealing this from somewhere else, but in the same vein. I have to give Will props, he's a better man than me. I'd never defend someone else's girl like that. Yep, this one. It's in Chris's voice. Exactly the cadence and style. With the every tooth in his head showing smile that only he can do. So, I fired one of my joke writers Monday. This one. Elmeo. Chris in these comments taking notes. Unless Chris is op lol. Wouldn't he still be in the comments taking notes? I was at the comedy cellar which based on the timing must have been one of the first times Michelle Wolf performed after the White House Correspondents' Dinner. She said something like I'm Michelle, and I never thought I'd say this but you probably know me from Fox News. I saw Aziz Asari at the comedy cellar during his sexual assault allegations. His jokes would start out on a serious note referring to it like listen I know I got to work on myself or the last few months have had a lot of hard lessons for me etc and then go into a completely different story but with the same tones. Then at the very end he gave a little more emotion and expressed gratitude for us giving him a chance to perform BC he wasn't performing at the moment. It was a great set. I was gonna say something about Will and Jada, but decided to wait until August. I was gonna say something about Will and Jada, but decided to wait until August comes. A minor adjustment. F asterisk 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 it, I would call my whole tour so Will Smith just slapped me at the Oscars and travel from city to city with it. Or to quote himself, call it the Will Smith slapped the shit out of me tour. I'd call it the, tour for the cure with Rogaine advertisements. This reminds me of Pee Wee Herman's first show after getting out of jail for allegedly masturbating in a theater. He walked out and shouted, heard any good jokes lately? Chris Rock will either make one joke about it and move on like Pee Wee did, or he could make his entire act nothing but jokes about Will Smith's wife. I think everyone's hoping for the latter. I feel that Chris is classier than that and might come up with a short bit about it. He'll probably open with a bit or two about it because everyone's expecting him to at least say something then move right into his planned act. I could see Chris wanting to still be known for being a good comedian. I wouldn't be surprised if he'd prefer it to just go away. I guess he's got to address it, but I think he'll say one thing about it and then get on with his show. Norm MacDonald would have done three hours of jokes about the entire Smith family. I saw Louis C.K. at one of the first stops on his comeback tour. His opener was... If you're ever in a hotel room with a woman and you ask her if it's okay if you masturbate in front of her and she says it's okay still don't do it. I work with the woman who shouted show us your dick. At his first show back at the comedy cellar. It was her first and only trip there and I think she did it right. He really deserved the award for best actor, because after watching the movie Ollie, I thought he actually knew how to throw a punch. Open hand, because paper beats rock. Riff off of Pee Wee Herman's opening remarks at MTV Awards after he was arrested for masturbating I public. Seen any good TV lately? I think it was heard any good jokes lately. Because that year was filled with Pee Wee Herman jokes. I would start by walking out with crutches, and a neck brace and be like Jada's other lover hit harder. But he's to keep her name out his fucking mouth. If Jada can't take a joke about alopecia, then it's her loss. God damn it I keep reading that shit as alpaca on feo. It's safe to say they've had a falling out. No talk of Will Smith, still tore the house down. He's got another show at 10.30. When he walked out the fucking building shook. 10 minutes standing oh. He said, come on people let me do the show. The guy's material is brilliant. Comic genius. Talked politics like if he was possessed by George Carlin. The whole thing was a comedic masterpiece. Covid, Akrai, Trump, Hillary. No holds barred no one was spared. Tonight wasn't for the squeamish. Fucking hilarious. Comedic gold. Chris Rock is a comedy legend and a class act. First show at the Wilbur. Thank you Chris you're a class act. The closure I needed thanks for the update. I think you all might be tired of watching my face. It has been slapped all over the news lately. When they asked if I wanted to be an Oscar host I didn't know they meant Delane Hoyer. 
Hey, everybody. Now, this is a story all about how. My face got turned slapped upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I got slapped by the prince of a town called Bel Air. Hey all, I'm here from Will Smith's first real hit in years. Just flew in from getting smacked at the Oscars. Boy, are Will Smith's arms tired. A comedian impersonating Louis C.K. did this joke after the whole Louis C.K. masturbatio story came out. It went something like, I just flew in from La and boy are my arms tired from masturbating the whole time. I'd walk to the edge of the stage and walk alongside it, then say good, no stairs coming up here. I've got time to run if one of you decides to get out of your seats. I'm hearing all these great suggestions with CR's voice in my head, 